Bay border. Woohoo! Been doing a lot of woohoo lately. So there's the quarantine checkpoint. I do actually have Pajoas in the car. Um, so we're not really going to go across now. We're going to spend the night here at the roadhouse. $30 campsite, powered site. So that's free charging, even though I get free charging when I get back. And I only need maybe like 10 or 20% to get back. Although I'm going to drive to Eucla. Have a pie and Eucla and breakfast, I think, for breakfast. Welcome to Western Australia, the place of my birth. Uh, not, not today, sir, but tomorrow. And um, yeah, we got through. The car's looking good. Twig, have you been to WA before? You want to go to WA? You want to go WA? Yes. So yeah, it looked like a nice roadhouse. We'll go and check it out. $30 with charging. So that's very good. That's very good. We'll, uh, we'll go and find a camp spot. But we're almost in WA. We're, uh, how far is that from WA? That's over there. That's maybe... 10 meters away? No. 50 meters away from WA? Cool bananas, it's been a great trip so far. Mission accomplished. Almost, almost. Tomorrow we go into WA. Jack brakes. Jack brakes. Sounds awesome. I want an electric truck to get fake jack brakes like the Honda Ionic 5N. You get fake jack brakes, bro. Big speakers out the front. Look at this true blue Rui. He's true blue and he likes Vegemite. Uh, what does that say? Best known sources of vitamin B, I think it says. And here we are, Cape Town, 4,000. Sydney, 2,000. Darwin, 2,700. Adelaide, 1,300. So that's what we've come, I think. Maybe 1,500 something like that Brisbane 27 so equidistant from Brisbane and Darwin New York uh, Paris 17,000 Berlin 16,000 WSA border village there you go and there's a true blue true blue we better go and find our camp spot before it's all gone all right we found our spot Twig's pleased with it? Meets the approval of the twig? I think so. And look, it's Christmas time. We're going to unbox the new D-Power charger. Port Mode 2 portable EV charger. Came from Ryan at D-Power all the way from Shenzhen. And so my job is to review it. D represents that symbol in Chinese. It means morality and virtue in English. So. We're going to do an unboxing in the back of the Polestar. So this is a uh, Border Village campground, roadhouse and campground. It's actually quite a lot nicer than Nullable Roadhouse. It's very chill and the quarantine which we went and looked at. And so this is a powered site. So we're going to do the unboxing here in the car. Twiggy, don't get into any trouble please. There's the D-Power charger, we're going to unbox that. And here's the, uh, the, the uh, portable thing, hopefully that works good. We'll check it out, fingers crossed, before we unpack. So let's do the unboxing. Unboxing twig. Unboxing of the D-Power. Twiggy, you found a friend, Mr. Dog. Look, um, yeah. she. I think she gets along with boy dogs more than, yes, than girl dogs. Yeah. Yeah, Twiggy, look, you got a friend. Mr. Dog's your friend. <laughs> Seven. Oh, okay. She's just in her prime. Yeah, she's actually a coolie collie, but came out the wrong colour and oh, with long hair. Yeah. So she's like a genetic throwback. Oh, are you? Are you a throwback? You're still lovely. Yeah. She lives on Kangaroo Island. Oh, right. Yeah. So you're me. what? You're a farmer. Down Power. There? This is a powered site here in the border village in the Mallee. So here we go for the unboxing. All the way from Shenzhen to oh, look at that! Comes with a nice, nice um, 
that's what's good about Deep Power. They always come with a little um, a case. Undo the zip. Undo the zip. Aha! Got like a little screen. So here we go. I love taking the plastic off. Shunk. Look at that. Very good. Okay, there's the old saying read the instructions so that's what we did and it's working look at that we got the green light we'll have a look in the car it's tricky it's working it's doing 15 amps there 240 volt or 237 and i'll finish at 2 2 a.m um so it's doing three kilowatts um 15 amps and going from 51 to 80 and very good thanks ryan thanks depow you give the product a go and it seems to be working fine and it looks like a great product with all the extra bits that come with it so very happy with that and um, be using that as the portable charger when i go on my road trips there you go Biscuits again for dinner, Twig. Not too boring for you. Got your water, your car's charging. Time to make the bed up as the sun sets over the Nullarbor. We're at Border Village Roadhouse Campground. Good morning. I uh, haven't done one of these yet, but I wanted to, and that's how I sleep in the Polestar. So here we are. There's the twig. That's her little spot on the side there. So I fold the seats down <coughs> um, like that. The sun's coming up here at Border Village. All the dew in the car, like it was um, condensation because it was five degrees last night but it wasn't cold so yeah fold the seats down with the swag in the car I'm quite comfortable and we're ready we're gonna go and cross the border now oh we had dinner last night I didn't record that um, had bangers and mash which was very nice might insert a photo here um, very nice place this border village roadhouse campground um, not nicer than Nullable Roadhouse, which is just like a very uh, austere, dusty place, although it does have an excellent charger. So we're going to go and cross the border now to Euclid, just to say that we went into WA. Uh, might go to the old telegraph station, see how we travel, and then um, head back and go to charge up at Border Village, I'm sorry, at Nullable Roadhouse again at the solar charger. And then head back east um try get back to sejuna tonight but we'll see how we go uh it's actually i'm in the wa time zone here so we've moved time zones so it's um as an hour and a half earlier than it is in south australia time i think it is and yeah so it's time to get up pack all the bed up pack the car up oh we charged last night with a deep hour you would have seen that so that switched off in the middle of the night car would be on 80 percent and we'll have heaps to get back to nullarbor roadhouse thanks for watching all right here's a completely random breakfast avocados and fajoas charging up to you know letting the car clean out from all the dew Happy days! Some rogue strikes again. Look at that. A bit of problems. That's what you have with a nice vehicle. Poor person. Oh my god, she's cooked. She's cooked. 
Nissan Dualis. I don't know if it's that a diesel, but she's cooked. All right, it's, uh, I'm not sure what time is it, nine o'clock South Australia time. Was it nine o'clock WA time? I don't know, but look at all this traffic and congestion here. Twiggy's all packed up. The car's all had to run the defroster for a while to uh, to get all the. I think I'm <laughs> next time I'll remember to crack the window because it was just so much condensation from my sleepages. All right, are these trucks all in line for the thing? What are we doing here? There's the big kangaroo. We'll just uh, put this away while we get onto the road. Here we are. So we just cleared quarantine, all good, no fruit here, no fruit for us. All right, we're here at the top of the uh, road to the old telegraph station at Eucla. There's the highway down there, and there's the telegraph station down there. And this is an awesome view of the uh, Eucla Basin there. Sand dunes, the old telegraph station is down there, and then there's all the trucks on the highway. Off they go to WA, or we're in WA. I can't believe we're in WA, like it's been, I last was in WA in 1992, so, is that 30 years ago? More. 30, 30 years, wow, 30 years um, choking up. It's such an emotional thing, just kidding. 30 years since I've been in WA, craziness. So 1992, I came back from America after I moved to America for a year to work in the mine up at Telfer and haven't been back since. So here we are, WA. Very good. Look how busy the freeway is. Crazy. All right, let's get going. We made it to the old telegraph station down that road that you just saw. The ruin was originally the WA Postmaster's residence, the second telegraph station, 1898 to 1927. 50 metres south of this ruin was turned into an overnight accommodation in the 50s. The Postmaster's residence was on the east side of the station. The original telegraph station, 1876 to 1898, was a little farther east. With sand fast approaching, buildings were dismantled and materials used to build outer buildings at the Canal de Station, 60 miles east of Eucla. Well, here we are. So sad to see graffiti on you, like... Here we are. Sandstone. Inside the building. Inside the building. Oh, look at that. Beautiful old... Hey, that's really cool. I'll have to take a photo of that. Yeah, the old telegraph station, hey? Still a um, beautiful construction with the sandstone and the archways. It's that fireplace there. The oldest graffiti that I see there is 
1976 I mean obviously you don't know if it's true 74-79 the Mockerel and Cooper families Launceston Tasmania 16-5-78 It must be a chimney. Here's the Pole Star at the telegraph station. Just see the old, not the old, sorry, the new highway down there trucks you can just hear them in the distance contemplating putting the drone up just for fun definitely want to get a pick, um, drone up at the roadhouse maybe we'll just do that we'll do some yeah we'll do that First time in 32 years I worked it out, so 1992 um, was here, I went, came back and worked at the mine. So yeah, it's been a long time and in August we come all the way back, so that'll be really cool. And I'm wearing my WA shirt. See, Western Australia shirt. Into South Australia, here we go, into South Australia at the crossing. Woohoo! Welcome to South Australia. One hour fifty-three minutes, one hundred and eighty-four kilometers, twelve fifty-nine. We'll get there with twenty-six percent. Here we go. Yeah, smooth sailing. Arrived to Nullarbor Roadhouse with twenty-two. Lucky number twenty-two at Nullarbor. And now we charge again. Woohoo! Peace out. Here we are, Nullarbor. Nullarbor. No trees over here, no trees for you. See ya. Okay, we arrived with 22% after that little celebration at the end of the Nullarbor. And there's a Model S. So I'm hoping it hasn't drained the battery. We'll see what the Model S Model S is doing 33 kilowatts. It's been here 48 minutes. All right. Now we'll see what happens. We see what happens. It says 15 for some reason, but all right, connected. Only 20 kilowatts. Fifteen. That's not good. Oh, interesting. Only, uh, oh, it's gone up. That's good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Keep going up. 17. 20. Twenty-two. You took all my juice! 